Megan is dumbfounded as her rude comments about Kate's wedding resurface. She was jealous at the start. Hello friends, welcome to Breaking Royal News about the notorious hypocritical couple Harry and Meghan Markle on our Kate Middleton and the Queen News version 2 channel. Meghan Markle referred to Princess Kate's marriage to Prince William when she claimed that young girls dream of becoming princesses. Years before she became a member of the royal family herself, Meghan Markle conjectured that Kate Middleton's wedding was the result of a youthful dream. A large portion of the globe watched in wonder as Prince William and Kate Middleton got married in 2011. However, not Meghan Markle, who had already begun criticizing her. She was familiar with the big day images and news long before she started dating Prince Harry, like many people all across the world. According to The Mirror, she made the decision to post her resentful feelings about the event on her lifestyle blog, The Tig. While the Westminster Abbey procession in April 2011 won the hearts of millions, Meghan loathed the pomp surrounding the event, calling it childhood illusions. She insisted that she was a glamorous princess, which was definitely not something she had imagined as an adult. She said, Little girls imagined themselves as princesses, for me, She-Ra, Princess of Power, was everything. For those of you who are not aware of the 1980s cartoon illusion, She-Ra is He-Man's twin sister and a strong, sword-wielding royal rebel. Clearly, Cinderella is not the subject here. This childhood dream seems to exist in grown women. Just take a look at all the fanfare surrounding the royal wedding and the never-ending discussion about Princess Kate. Obviously, Meghan was jealous it wasn't her. And don't forget, Meghan married the wrong prince. Once she found out Harry wasn't next in line, that's when all the rot started against our royal family. Then she had her own pomp and celebratory wedding, so was hers a childish fantasy for little girls or just small-minded little bigots. One insider asserted, She was jealous of Catherine even then. Catherine has everything that she can never have. She is married to the heir to the throne and has the title that Madam coveted, Princess of Wales, and is a future queen in waiting now. She is the wife and mother of two future kings. It's obvious from what was said in Harold's book, they wanted the same Westminster Abbey wedding that William and Catherine had, but they had to make do with Windsor instead. Catherine got to have the long-term loan pieces from the late queen's personal jewelry collection, but she was only allowed to borrow the tiara for her wedding and nothing else. She must have been as green as Catherine's dress in December when she was seen wearing the same emerald choker that Diana wore, and Catherine allegedly always got first pick from the fashion designers and so on. She will always be jealous of Catherine. How interesting that the marriage of the century is seen by Meghan as over the top and Kate is already being targeted for jealous speculation. This is before Meghan met Kate, which makes me wonder if the barefoot and tattered jeans were on purpose. Of course they were. A woman of power is always in control. She-Ra was clearly a fiction of Meghan's imagination, as well as a symbol of who she thinks she is. There is no room for mercy or forgiveness with this woman only control and domination. She is just proving more and more how jealous of Catherine she is. At least Catherine married William for love and not for money and a title. Unlike me, Thane, she had to make do with the spare. I don't see her paying back all the 30 million pounds that the taxpayers forked out for the spectacle of a wedding, as she called it. Well, she didn't marry the spare for love. It was all for money and a title. She hasn't got one bone in her body to know what love is. If truth be told, it was always William she had her eyes set on. That's why, allegedly, she started the rumors of William having an affair. She was hoping that he and Catherine would split up, and then she would be there to help William through it, hoping he would want her. But it all backfired on her, and now she's ended up with the spare. There have been claims that she was always obsessed with the British royal family, I don't doubt that she would have hankered after her high-status brother, William, and I believe she would have spat out her bile at any female that he chose who was not her. 
We only have to look at all those pictures of her gazing across at Wills with soft cow eyes. Having wormed her way into the family via Harry, it must have been galling to realize that William and Catherine adore each other and Mimi didn't stand a chance of muscling in. Poor little couldn't make it on her own. Is that where all her bitchiness stems from? Poor Harry, having to wake each morning with the question, was he second place to William in Megsy's eyes? While well, William has already bagged the star prize yet again, the Sussex duo deserve each other. I hope they remain chained together in eternity. Well, here we go with more lies vomiting from the witch's mouth. She said she knew nothing about the royal family or who the dimwit was. Now she tells everyone how she watched William and Catherine's wedding. I wonder which you would have to see dimwit as the best man. Also, Catherine was beautiful and elegant. No pretense. Natural. Which, her dress was ill-fitting. She looked false with those doe eyes and a false smile. She looked like the cat that got the cream. She didn't want her father attending. She enjoyed walking down the aisle on her own. Look at me, everyone. Wicked, spiteful, jealous liar. Megan doesn't love Harry, and when she goes to hold hands with him and all the other stuff she does in order to show the world they are in love, only proves that she doesn't love him at all just using him for her own ends. His face now says it all, and I believe he will end up a very lonely man. And he can only blame himself, as he was warned by his brother. Also, their lies will finally get them. There are sources that Meghan Markle was certainly married twice before Harry. Meghan's first marriage was with Joe Giuliano and was annulled. His family was wealthy and saw her coming a mile off. Their attorneys filed for an annulment and paid her to sign before she caused trouble. Megan's second marriage was to American film producer Trevor Engelson, who she married in 2011, around seven years after they began dating. Her vile mother, Doria, was incarcerated for four years for fraud and drugs. This all goes to confirm Rachel Megan Mountbatten Windsor, nay Markle, is nothing but a lying excuse for a human being. Maybe a book about her lies would be useful in educating her kids about Mummy's true nature in their future while they're growing up. They will need something of a reference to defending the abuse they will likely receive as they grow up to adulthood, at which point they can then review all on the internet that was reported about their mother and father during their campaign of hate for their families. What do you think of Megan's jealous comments about Kate and William's wedding? Let us know your thoughts below in the comment section. We hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this newsletter. See you in the next videos. Goodbye.